Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and thanks to a catalog leaking, I'm not sure if I can cover it or not, no one else in LAN is, so I'm gonna just play it safe and not, because I enjoy having the channel, but, um, anyways, we got some interesting stuff that's come out of this, so we'll talk about the Avengers stuff first, since, I, uh, you know, this is the superhero channel, and, uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. We've got pictures for set number 76167, the Iron Man Armory. This will be retailing for, I think the price was $29.99 and then $39.99 Canadian, or maybe it's $39.99 USD and then $49.99 Canadian. I'm, I can't remember what the price is because it's just, uh, it's just, a, it was rumored. And now we have official pictures and it, my source was right. We got the hot rod build there. It looks pretty cool. Not sure why it has stud shooters. It's kind of strange and why are they facing backwards? Um, but the Iron Man figure, it appears to be the exact same, I think. The only difference being that it appears that he's also got the sort of neck attachment that the Endgame or Infinity War, I guess, the, the, the nanotech had. So that's strange that both that and the Avengers Tower has the booster. Um, and you can see the screen, uh, on screen, what I'm talking about from the other set. But um, in terms of the actual suit, it's just not the Mark II. <laughs> it's called the prototype suit, and it's just kind of disappointing because it's just not the Mark II. Like, it's literally called prototype suit. This isn't an MCU set, and I think that this is meant to be, like, a prototype suit of the actual, like, Avengers game suit. So, it's kind of disappointing that this is an MCU set, and in my opinion, they waste three minifigure spots. With two AIM agents, as well as a Tony Stark figure, which isn't pictured, but it, it's on a different picture. I think the most exciting thing, to me at least, is that each of the panels behind... Uh, the armory there are actually, they all have stickers, and I'm not sure who they are for, if it's for Blazer and Taser, or if it's for maybe the rescue suit as well from the Hulkbuster, so that's what excites me, um, but I like that all four of them are there. I will be considering them the MCU versions of the suits with, of course, Blue Steel as well as Hot Rod. I really don't know what's going on here, why they can't just call them those suits. This is clearly the Mark II, and I believe that the other ones are clearly just, you know, Blue Steel as well as Hot Rod. I, it's, it's, I'm not understanding, um, but... Who knows, we'll have to wait and see from the game, but there's like so many other stickers and different things, you can't make it out because of the glare on the photo, but I'm excited to see what those like hanging holograms are, as well as there's a little station to the right with a micro Iron Man figure, which is really cool, so I'm hoping that it's this new Suits version from 2020 in the micro figure, I think that would be really awesome, and I'd love to compare the two to the one that we got uh, from the Hell Cure. I think that's pretty exciting, but... This is probably the best way to, I guess it's not the best way to army build aim agents, but I'm telling you, at the end of the day, this thing is gonna, we're gonna have so many aim agents, which I don't necessarily mind, um, but yeah, I probably will go ahead and buy the other Hall of Armor right now while it's on sale so that I can get more suit racks. I love that it is the exact same, so you can expand upon but it's just, this only comes with one suit, so like, if I were to buy this, reselling it, just the figures to make the money back for the pieces, just is not going to work. So that is a bit of a shame, and I apologize for my dog barking. I don't know what she's doing, but I hope that you did enjoy this video, and I hope that you all have a great day. See you all in the next one.